I think sometimes we go through stages in life that we have to go through the lows in order to get to the highs. And most recent, I've been experiencing the, I don't want, I don't know, how do you say it? The awareness of how my energy has been just like, like this. And it's, and I feel like, you know how like some days you go up and some days you go down, but it's just been like this. And I've been trying to tap into that feeling of going up. And it's actually been a challenge for me because I just, I remember going through it and experiencing them go so high. This is why like, I don't do drugs because I have the drugs already in here and this is why I think I can push myself so much my brain has like so much um, fight I think that's the best word to use that even though my body is going through the push and pull of having to drag it along <laughs> my brain already has the ability to just keep going and I appreciate and love it but lately, I've been trying to, guess, work with it and able to... It's like a plateau. Um, and I've been trying to find beautiful instances and moments that kind of bring me up a little bit. And it's not to say that, like, I'm depressed. Because I am i don't feel depressed. And I feel like... I feel great. And things are going great. And my body feels a lot better compared to at least earlier this January and the year's almost over. So I guess I'm just trying to tap into the next one over. <laughs> Is there even a one over? I can't even tell you. Um, but I'm sure there is. There's like, there's different boundaries, energetic boundaries that we go through and Sometimes we stay in the ones that are so low. It's like the box that we're in is just too tight or just too perfect that we're like, um, oh, this is fine. And you get so accustomed to that type of flow, but yet you're still looking for this bit of change. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm looking for this bit of change. I'm getting super creative in all the things that I'm doing. And it also being fall, going into winter, um... Everyone knows that like that's the most gloomiest part of the year where it's like cloudy, more cold, more you want to be inside, more soups. Those are the great things and you have to look for the great things. And I was having a moment the other day where I was like, oh my God, I don't even want it. I don't even, oh my God, what am I going to do? I don't want to feel trapped. Time change has already changed. So now it's just a different type of hour. And now it's darker earlier, you feel tired sooner, and you're like, but it's only six o'clock, and you just finished dinner, and now you're tired, and you're like, I just want to get the stuff done, and then there's nothing done. But I've been thinking of a plan, and the plan is, okay, yes, it's dark, yes, it's gloomy, yes, I'm setting boundaries in my life for my regular work hours, which is, you know, the big corporation work hours where I work at on top of like my own personal business hours, which is like certain hours of the day on top of like life, lifing. Because if you're not enjoying life, then what's the point of living? And if you're just work, 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 and yes, you enjoy your work and you're, you enjoy your job. And because I enjoy all of those. But it's also like creating that balance to enjoy the funness in life where you just forget about everything and it's just you're living in it versus like trying to push through it. And I guess this is just for people who are willing or wanting to look for some sort of change and how to create or implement it is scheduling stuff in your time. Like I told myself, oh my God, it's dark earlier. I'm tired earlier. I'm this, that, and whatever. But I want to schedule a date night and go out, have coffee somewhere and be in a different setting environment. And me and my husband enjoy that. Or even I just enjoy that because I have time off and he works and I, I just do things like that. And, uh, but 
it's just scheduling those little tidbits in life that we both get to enjoy and it brings little high spurts of like little sparks of like oh my god that was great this was a great week and and I'm not feeling trapped or isolated or getting cabin fever you know so basically finding sparks in your day to re to restart <laughs> your adventure uh create new endeavors that are going to be so much fun that you like oh my god and it doesn't fun doesn't necessarily mean like you're jumping off cliffs or anything but it's just little outings not just going to the store you're outing but like going to get some coffee or going to get some dinner or going to get some snacks or just to walk around the park simple stuff like that and setting those boundaries so you can have fun enjoying those things and these other obligations because they're obligations because you're making them your obligation to do still a choice remember that it's still a choice but we sometimes are like oh my god oh my god oh my god yes but we have to do stuff where we're gonna be like oh my god right oh my god okay well i hope this information helps you hopefully you're having a wonderful day i want to have a cooking stuff but my brain is currently not cooking anything it's kind of like we're not doing anything you thought I was doing something. And then when I want to do something, we have other chefs in the house. And they're already chef in the house up. So I was like, why do I have to cook? I don't really have to cook, right? Nope. I just sit down and eat. Isn't that great? Like, those are the pluses, I think. Those are the pluses. All right. Love you. Bye.